Introduction to Neural Networks for C Sharp, Class 2, Part 2. Welcome to Class 2, Part 2 of Introduction to Neural Networks with C Sharp. If you are just joining us now, you may wish to review some of the previous classes and parts to this course. It is assumed that you are already familiar with the material that has already been covered. In this class session, we're going to see how to create wave matrices. The wave matrix is sort of the foundation of the neural network. This is where all of the memory of the neural network is actually stored. Wave matrices occur between layers of a neural network. So if you have a two-layer neural network, there is one wave matrix that occurs between these two layers. The weight matrix holds individual weights between the neurons. There's also something called a threshold value. The threshold value is stored per neuron on a layer. The threshold values are often stored as part of the weight matrix. You will see how to combine thresholds and weights to form the overall weight matrix of a neural network. We will discuss weights and threshold values in more detail momentarily. You will see how to construct these two values and how to put them into the weight matrix now. First, let's look at the role of a weight matrix in a typical neural network. Here you see a neural network with an input and an output layer. There are two neurons in the input layer, three in the output layer. Here we can see both the threshold values and the weight matrix. The weight values are contained the forward arrows from the input layer to the output layer. You can see 1, 3, 5, 2, 4, 6. These are the weight values between these two layers. The threshold values are contained in the target layer. 1, 3, 5 are the three threshold values. All these numbers together become the weight matrix, or the weight and threshold matrix, because weight values and thresholds are generally combined together when stored in a neural network. We will now see how this is actually done. Here we see a weight matrix only. This weight matrix does not contain any threshold values. We will see how to add threshold values to a matrix in a moment. This weight matrix represents the neural network that we just saw. As you recall from the previous neural network, there are two input neurons and three output neurons. Correspondingly, there are two rows and three columns. The rows correspond to the input neurons, the columns correspond to the output neurons. Where the rows and columns meet, there is a number, and that number represents the weight between the input neuron and the output neurons. There's a total of six numbers here because between two input neurons and three output neurons, there is a total of six weights. Two times three is equal to six. Now I will show you how to add the threshold values to this matrix and produce a weight and threshold matrix. Here we see a matrix that corresponds to the same neural network that we just looked at. This matrix, though, also includes threshold values. Notice the threshold values is T's. The W's represent weights, so you can clearly see where the weights and the threshold values fall on a matrix. The thresholds are basically just a row that is added onto a weight matrix. This is because there is one threshold value for each of the output neurons. This allows us to conveniently just add the threshold values onto the weight matrix. This keeps us from having to maintain two different structures for each layer. Now we have one combined weight and threshold matrix. And it is easy enough to tell which value belongs to either the weights or to the thresholds, as you can see in this diagram. This concludes Class 2, Part 2, for Introduction to Neural Networks with C-sharp. We are going to cover how to actually create a weight matrix in the next section. You will see the actual C-sharp code used to construct a weight matrix and use it with neural networks or whatever purpose you're going to use it for. This code base will be used throughout this course. Thank you. We hope you continue with the next part. This course is based on our Introduction to Neural Network Programming books for Java, 
and also Introduction to Neural Networks for C-Sharp. Available in both paperback and ebook format.